Draymond, Steve was talking about how the pace is something that you guys came right out of the gates with, clearly a part of your team's makeup. Do you think that the pace has been picking up more lately just as familiarity has been increased, rules have been defined? I think so. I think our pace is definitely picking up because we're we're getting more comfortable on the offensive side with the patterns uh, that we like to run. And so... um, there's times where if you don't understand the patterns, then it can it can just look uh, helter skelter, you know. And um, you know, no one knows guys are on top of each other. Now we're starting to really understand our lanes. Um, guys are really reality is we're what 21 games in now. Guys are in shape now, and so running deep to the corners, and it's really opening the floor up. And then most importantly, our defense has picked up, which allows us to push the pace more. Like, it's one thing to push off makes, which we want to do. But when you're pushing off a miss and getting a rebound and then going, that's tough to guard because it it creates a lot of cross matches. So I think it's definitely starting to pick up due to the familiarity on the offensive end, but on the defensive end as well. You know, kind of staying on the topic of you initiating, you know, these fast breaks, picking up the pace. I remember when uh, you guys played the Cavs a couple weeks ago, and you said that you saw something that you could exploit in Evan Mobley and Jared Allen, two shot, bigger shot blocking bigs, kind of the same thing you see today with Carl Anthony Towns and um, Rudy Gobert. Did you see a similar kind of advantage when matched up against those guys? Uh, yeah, um, I did. And the reality is whether it's, um, you know, I don't, I don't want that to come off as, as disrespect to Jared, um, who I'm a big fan of, or Evan, who I'm a huge fan of. Um, you know, those guys, they're young, they're gonna be really good in this league, but my advantage is my speed. I'm pr- giving up usually four or five inches to those guys. Uh, in some cases, 20, 30 pounds to some of these guys, sometimes 40, 50 pounds. Um, so my advantage is my speed. So for me, um, when I say I see something that I can exploit, I'm simply just talking about, I, I think I'm faster than them. And if I can get to a space where I can use my speed against them, I think it puts them in a tough spot as opposed to walking down, letting them set their defense. Uh, They're huge. They're at boxes and elbows, and it's just a lot tougher. Now, after last game, you kind of talked about how these young guys, uh, Jonathan, Moses, um, you know, James, I need to learn their roles and thrive in their bench minutes on a championship team. I think one can make an argument that John Kaminga has put together one of his better two game stretches you know, that we've seen all season. What have you seen from him? I think it's been beautiful. And um, the reason being is you felt the impact. I know we've 100% felt and seen the impact. And the reality is what it boils down to um, is energy, effort, and attention to detail when you're a young guy. Uh, he's, He's impacted these last two games in a major way without shooting the basketball. Now, tonight he got a few shots up. Um, Coach drew the play up for him out of time. He executed it successfully, um, which, which is another thing that I don't think uh, should just be breezed over. Um, that's a 19-year-old, if I'm not mistaken, 19 or 20 years old, whichever one he is. And out of time, our discipline is something that young guys struggle with. It's something that I watched him struggle with early, you know, in first beginning of his career is how to execute a play out of a timeout. He executing not only that play for him to score, but he's executing all the plays out of timeouts. And so it's those small things uh, that you have to get better at. And I think it's such a beautiful thing that over the last couple of games, he's, he's affecting the game without scoring. And, you know, when you can do that, that's, that's a special thing. And he has the ability to do that. And he's now starting to understand it. And it's been beautiful to watch. And, you know, he's earning more and more minutes. We also talked about last game, I guess, just the when all of you guys get, get going on the scoring end. Second consecutive game with six people in double figures. Clay, uh, Steph, Jordan, all with 20 plus points. I mean, just especially early on in that first quarter, is this a glimpse of how lethal you guys can be when everything is really starting to click? It is. Um, you know, I think, you know, it's really starting to come together for us. And like I said, it starts on the defensive end, but uh, when those guys, Clay, 8 for 13, 5 for 8 from 3, like, that's incredible. Um, you know, JP, 9 for 17, Steph, 7 for 17. That's actually one of Steph's worst shooting nights, which is crazy in itself. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, 
really starting to figure it out on that end. I think JP's starting to get more comfortable with the second group, which he spends a lot of his time being the head honcho of that group. And he's starting to get more and more comfortable with that. And so, uh, you know, you're starting to see his numbers pick up. Uh, Clay's numbers have picked up. Steph's has been up. Uh, Wiggs has been up. And so, you know, to get everybody playing well at the same time is great. Um, I think, you know, we're starting to put it together. And, you know, if we can keep building at this rate, you know, we'll we'll be poised for a, for a run pretty soon here. Celebration technical at the at the end of the game. <laughs> it's you? Crazy man. <laughs> I don't know. I just I don't know. I probably got like four texts this year. That's a little questionable, but. Nice to have stuff having your back. Uh, absolutely, one hundred percent. You told me I was at the lane line. I thought I was standing in the corner. So I don't know. Sucks though. Um, it's the NBA, man. You, you, your teammates make a good move. I didn't affect the play. Like, there's no one near me. You know, so um, <clears throat> sucks. And the fact that that's going to count against my tech count, like, come on. It's ridiculous. But whatever. It is what it is.